12 minutes in. Uh, Iowa is lovely. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I like bike packing. So far. I yeah. The yeah. 12 minute? Great yeah. 12 minutes. I will say this though. Um, I'm a little concerned about the lack of pedaling so far. Mm. We're going to pay for it. We're going to pay for it. Yeah. So maybe that's why the 12 minutes have been so great. That's, that's some really good for <laughs> <laughs> We just did a really long climb. We did lose a flip-flop and it has been recovered. Uh, got a puncture. You're doing your best puncture person, I think? Oh, I'll be stoked when it flattens out a bit. I'm sure I'm sure they will too, whenever they get here. It's yeah, perfect. We're fine. We're it's fine. Let's go to die. It's all fine. We're totally fine. Welcome back, everybody. I'm JT the Dusty Dutchman. I'm Aaron, aka Fruit Punch. And you guessed it, we are on the road again. Oh. We are headed to Dubuque, Iowa for some bike packing. Uh, I mean, yeah, we don't know. We have no idea. So, again, stressing, we have no idea what we're doing. But we're starting in Dubuque, Iowa, and we're riding from, from downtown, basically, to Bellevue state park but it's like 30 35 down and 30 35 back and we i think it's mostly gravel but we'll find out but we're headed from basically going from dubuque to bellevue state park camping in bellevue state park and then riding back to dubuque Welcome to Iowa, Dubuque, Dubuque, Iowa. Let me let me back up again. This is Steve. <laughs> we met up with him. Let, let me back up. You haven't seen Steve since Steve Man 2020. <laughs> Steve Man 2020. He's back. So we got Steve. We got Fruit Punch. We got me, and we are ready to go on a bike packing trip. So okay, here we go. No, hold on your bags. Oh, Jesus. See, Punch, this is just as fun as a thrashy yep. berm or yeah. like a milky jump. <laughs> Look at Steve go, he's just ripping. Climb number two of seven is starting right now. All right. Quite the topography. like some farm vibes. Some rolly, cascady, very vibrant. All right, let's get to lunch. The lunch was delicious. And uh, Steve's getting some more sunscreen on. For safety, Punch is over there, just lathering up in Stoke, and uh, we got a second half of our day one route to go, and then we'll be at the campsite. But yeah, good, good lunch spot. Would recommend. Don't know, can't tell you where, but this is what it's called. So, uh, it's uh, going slow. We just ate lunch and uh, my lunch legs weren't able to last very long because it was an immediate climb. So, it's, it's 
It's rough out here, but it sure is beautiful. Is that Punch or is that Steve? That might be Punch. Just blowing this guy up. Holy shit, <laughs> Just blew him up. Steve is blown up. Nice, good climb. The scenery has definitely taken a, a turn. Very interesting. Very woodsy all of a sudden. Well, let my mind go serene like a cool water stream that runs from the mountain so tall. Oh, take me back down the old dirt road. Officially arriving in uh, Bellevue. Left Dubuque, what, five hours ago? Yeah, about five hours ago. 34 miles in. There it is, boys. Drink it in. You. Well, take me home to rest where the mockingbirds nest and to cry through the green in the spring. Let's -a go back a ways to the old bygone days and the simple time we lived back when. Are you stoked that we made it to the Mississippi? Made it! Super stoked. Yeah, it's pretty rad. Tomorrow's gonna be super easy. All right? It's gonna be easy compared to today. Easy. Is be, this foreshadowing again? It's going to be no climbing, but the little bit of climbing there is is just going to absolutely detonate. Yeah, you're going to, you're, you're not going to like it. Legs are just going to pop. Now we got to make it to the campground and set up camp, and then <laughs> do some chores. <sighs> ah, bike time. Take <laughs> me back down the old dirt road. Okay, well. That ended up turning into 40 miles and almost 3,000 mile feet of climbing. So but we're here. We're not we're not stoked about it, but we're here. Um, we're at Bellevue State Park, which is. I don't know that I would recommend it. How are you feeling about our camping situation? I would describe sleeping in this type of situation as uh, trying to sleep on top of a beach ball. <laughs> That's what it felt like. It was rolling all over the thing all night long. It wasn't my favorite. But the good news is we get to ride another 40 miles today. All right, day two. It's about 9.30 in the morning. A little ahead schedule. And we are departing. Bellevue State Park. And we got a day of riding ahead of, ahead of us to get us back to the truck. It's supposed to be 85 degrees today. Train coming in. Wind coming in. That's a, that's a big river. We decided to take a uh, more direct route today, which uh, turned out to be the highway. And it's still just as hard so far. We're only like, Eight to ten miles from the car, but there's 20 to 30 mile winds. What was supposed to be out of the southwest is just out of the straight west. And where are we heading now? West. Well, yeah, west. It's not going to be fast. This guy's having a great time. I'm dying. You're what? I'm dying. <laughs> where are my other pills? 
Hopefully there's something in here that can help you. Um, this is the hardest crosswind we have ever experienced. Like I'm having to lean in when it starts to really gust up. I'm trying to find our turn off of this highway. But uh, we haven't caught it yet. Well, that's 30 miles an hour, like, real quick. 40. Wow. And here we go again. We got the wind in our back. We got 30 mile wind in our back right now. I'm awarding you the strongest climber in the wind award. Thank you. Yeah. I can take it. I'm awarding you best positive vibes award. <laughs> Good, we needed it. We did. We did. We're almost there. Oh. Yeah. We made it. We're back. Two day total, 70 miles and 5,300 feet of climbing over two days. Um, so that's bike packing from our perspective. That's our first bike packing trip. I'm gonna need a break from it and uh, maybe we'll do it again some other time. But uh, until then, you're Steve, you're Fruit Punch. I'm JT the Dusty Dutchman, reminding you that when you get outside and get on your bike, stuff happens. <laughs>